Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I shall continue. I just don't know what it is that I continue right now. Uh, that's that. The serum. The theater. The cage. Test tubes. Anything else? The neural jars. Bunch of bust covered. The dust covered beakers. Unlabeled bottles and equipment. Do I need to calm Alexander down now? Inside this one, there is a gardener's shovel. Well then... True to my fashion, I missed something. is very rusty, almost shattered. A wooden box. It seems too small for a coffin. Uh. <laughs> the lock still resists. I can't open it by hand. You are kidding me. Can't I just use a bucket? Apparently not. Old bottles. Spices. That's a diary. There is no laudanum. Laudanum is a lie. Um. That's Anthony, I presume. Oh, God, this is. Exploded. That's that. And the unknown machine. And the former glass. Still can't get over that I used deer blood. To color the light, the light bulb. 
That's actually pretty gross. Can I use just that? Uh, anything in here? No. Fine. Can I use it there to smash it open? No. Why should I be able to do it that way? Why indeed? Why indeed? No. Mm. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. The scheduled fingers of the creature are clutching a rolled up canvas. The remains of a humanoid body, but of the grotesque animal aspect. Maybe a small ape? It has a collar with some engraved words on it. Old Mike. Beside the corpse, there's a paper leaf. The Alexander. Undoubtedly, your methods are definitely stronger than mine. How do you manage to get results with such alacrity? On another note, my epiphany with a treatise, with a treatise of alchemy was not accidental. On examining the text close, I have come to the conclusion that for a time, Raymond the Slully sought the same thing as we did. In his account he describes a formula that he calls Yupo. Yes, like the legendary bird. That I have to look up now, thank you very much. It closely resembles the serum with which we have worked so far, except for minor differences. It's a pity what you tell me about old Mike. I hope he gets better soon. We did in his keys as yet. July the 2nd, 1887. Map of the stars. It's some kind of navigation map. Several constellations are marked. Deneb, Vega, Altair. And it's a summer triangle there. Eh? Oh. Of course it was Alexander. Who else should it have been? Oh, the music is ominous. Alexander! He's certainly gone. Whoop! What's up, Jupiter? Some diary pages on the wheelchair. Paper is ripped apart as if someone had stripped it out of the book hastily. October 31st, 1891. Writing this in the light of my desk lamp, hoping to be able to remember it, or when the birds finally, finally sing, and the sun's blessing dispels the dark shadows of the mind. During the whole afternoon, a strong wind hit the valley, so strong that it has cracked the larger branch of the old oak in the garden. I find it hard to get sleep during these nights, so I read a lot while accompanying the professor. I don't really know when exactly I fell asleep. I was awakened by the chill of the night, which was seeping through the open window. I looked outside and saw him and saw him. The professor was miraculous, miraculously awake. 
what, what was my joy to see him standing on the balcony, watching the valley with a true serene expression, enjoying the fresh and calm air right after the storm. I felt the blessing had fallen upon this house and for a moment I felt immensely happy. I stared at him for a while without saying anything, being afraid of this petting vision I hadn't believed possible for a long time. And then, in the midst of the silence, I heard a sound that froze me in my seat and snatched all my calmness with such a terrible chill that I will never forget. A loud noise beside me, low pitched as the drag of his lap. Mr. Alexander's snore was pleasantly sleeping in his bed. I have already made a decision. I leave this house. Okay, statue holding something. It's a lens mounted, mounted to a metal ring. Starlight brings some brightness to the forest. No, no, no. I'm looking for Deneb, Altair, and Vega. Yes, I'm groaning. What is going on? And why is the wit so eager to be part of it? True philosophy, my ass. You can't handle the truth. Some strange symbol, strange symbols mark on the surface. You think? Come to life too, I can feel it. First oh, loud. That's what it is. Flipping loud. Where's Alexander, dearest? Who down here? <laughs> yeah, what was that? Certainly coming to life. What? Oh, 
Oh, there's a mountain of compacted snow. There's a dark hole of, in the center of the room. It delves into the depths of the earth, far beyond what I can see. The wooden secretary desk, beautifully carved. The flip top has a knob of, has no knob or leg. Just some strange symbols. This doesn't work to open the furniture. Uh. Okay. Then let me check. Uh, uh. Correct, this is a summer triangle. So what? Fits perfectly. What the flying work? Oh. An open envelope with a letter inside. Dear Alexander, I'm terribly sorry about old Mike. Would you put him to rest in his favorite place? After weeks of unsuccessful attempts, I've managed to distill the alchemical formula based on the notes you sent me. Certainly you are a master of this craft. The subject reacted with the serum as usual, rapidly entering into a state of waking sleep. Suddenly, the convulsions stopped, and since then, he has not been responding to any kind of stimulation. He has remained in this state for many days. My diagnosis is brain dead. It should be our next step, Alexander. I am worried this could be the end of our research. We did any kiss yet. August 23rd, 1887. Oh, I see. It's this kind of lock. with two slots for syringes. Only one of them remains. <laughs> Voice again. It comes from the bottom of this pit. Alexander! Uh, dude. Alexander? A, var a variety of surgical instruments and some jars with with, chemical, with with chemicals on them. There's a chair in the middle of the room. Uh, no. This is what you asked me asked me to search for, is it not, Alexander? Am I right? The last door. I left the last door. You can cross together. What should I do? I'm waiting for you. Here in the mist. It's nearby. Can you hear it? 
What is nearby? What do you hear? I hear the beating of its wings. It knows we are afraid. I'm ready. Sit down. I'm sitting. Think that we that we will find any clue of yep. Do you think that we will find any clue here about the wits whereabouts? Oh, it's oath too. The police must have taken almost everything that but we have no other leads to pursue. Hopefully they have overlooked something. What about this room? There's a sealed letter between the this table and the wall. It looks like Herr Beechworth never sent it. I think it is. I think it is best that you read it. Dearest Alexander, please, you must reflect on this. We do not yet know what we are dealing with. If you were to open the door, it may stay that way, an open way for whatever lives on the other side. He didn't know kiss yet. No. Oh. Okay. This is certainly something. Dude. Adventure continues in season two. Well, I already decided to buy it. So, yeah. let's go to the main menu, and I will say. Good night and sleep well. This will be one heck of an adventure.